Hi guys, Mel the Train Shooter here again with a bit of a product review for you. And what we're going to be looking at today is Model Mate's weathering sprays and specifically their Mud Brown and their Moss Green. Now the reason that I'm looking at these two colours specifically is that as you can see they're sitting on top of these dungeon tiles that I've done for the Family Hero Quest board. And I want to weather them up using these sprays to, to help make it quick and easy. Now the benefit of using these sprays is obviously you can do large jobs with them. But for the finer details, because Model Mates also produce sprays and liquids, yeah, I've got the liquid versions as well. So when I do the doors and all the feature sort of elements that'll go on the board, I'll be able to weather them in exactly the same way as the tiles, but be able to do it with a brush or through an airbrush, a little bit more controlled. Okay, and obviously I've got the same sort of situation for the moss green. So this is going to give me the ability to do a lot, a, a, a more controlled, what you call it, sort of weathering on individual elements. Now quickly, if you spray them onto standard plaster, this is what you get. That effect, that's the mud brown. And that is the moss green. And although they don't, they're not really striking, but you've got to remember that these things aren't paints. Okay. They're weathering powders, so it's how they affect what they go on. Now, if you take a look down here very quickly, yeah, you'll notice that there's one tile, that one there, that's slightly different to the rest. Okay, and the reason for that is it's had a gloss coat. Because how these, uh, if you're spraying these weathering powders onto some these weathering spray dyes onto something that hasn't been what you've got sealed, they'll, they'll have a staining effect and they'll really darken it. Whereas if you spray it onto something that's been sealed, yeah, what you'll get is you'll be able to manipulate the dye a lot more and a lot easier. Okay, so I've included a test piece just to show you what it's like. But overall, I want this dungeon to have a really dark and danky feel. Okay, so that's why I'm going for the sprays. Now, what I'm going to do now quickly is move these pieces apart to the side. Uh, I'm going to shake up my cans and then Kez is going to film me actually spraying and actually weathering up all these actual dungeon pieces. Okay guys, so back in a second. Okay guys, I've given these a really, really good shake to, make, to mix them up, okay? We're going to start off with mud brown and then we're going to go on to go, uh, moss green. Moss green. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm doing it on the glass kitchen table because this is my favourite hobby surface and it cleans off and... My wife knows it cleans off, which means she's like smiling at me right now from behind the camera. Say hi, Kerry. Hi. Okay, now obviously we've got the windows open because it is an aerosol, so you know, vapors and all that. So we're going to start with the mud brown, and what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to give them all a good even texture and sort of work around the edges. Then afterwards, I'm going to come in and put in some specific sort of highlights with the moss green. So mud brown first, and I'm going to go from quite high up, so at least a foot and a half. Yeah, as you can see, it's just starting to take the texture. Bring it down a bit to sort of really get that darkness in. Whoa. And very quickly what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other side. Yeah, just to get, so I can make sure I get all these edges. Yeah, so I don't end up with white edges. I'll quickly round to the other way. Remember, this is just the brown that's going down now. And always give it a shake, yeah, between uses. Yeah, I'm not really worried where it's going on too heavy. And then quickly, just round to this side. Yeah, to do these light edges. Yeah, and that's the brown done. That's probably used, I'd say, a third of that can. Feeling by the weight. Onto the green. I'm going to spray this literally, sort of randomly. Quite heavily in patches so it gets that green tinge. There we go. Okay, now the next job is with a damp rag. 
Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take most of the weathering off. So if I start on here, yeah, and as you can see, because it's a, a die. Do you want me to come in closer on that one? So yeah, it's going to come a bit closer, baby, just so they can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can see it. So I can take it off the, the raised edges. It stays in the cracks. It gives it a nice weathered appearance. And to be truthful, this will probably take me a couple of minutes. So I don't know if Kerry's going to be willing enough to stand there and film me as I go all the way through it or... Yeah, like that. Like that. I've got to be careful as I'm doing this, okay? Because, I, because it's over all the pieces, not to clean one up more than the other. To sort of maintain a, a sort of standard. But as you can see... All the weathering dye has stayed in the watch call it. It's sort of stayed in the cracks and where I want it to be. You missed all the edges. It's all right. I quickly go around the edges. The thing is, with this weathering stuff, until you seal it, you can come back a week later with a damp rag and still work on it and sort of highlight it, move it around. Until it's actually been sealed, yeah, it's perfectly fine. You can still manipulate it. Yeah, so if I quickly do these on Kerry's filming, so you can see the, the overall effect. And there you have it. Now, just to remind you what the original one looked like, that's what they do, that quickly. Okay, and there's just one quick thing I want to show you just before I finish. Remember this piece? That piece was the one that we actually sealed. And if I go in with my cloth, you can actually see, yeah, because it's been sealed, it isn't staining. Yeah, so I can literally lift it all off. Yeah, and if I compare it to that, you can see it's much lighter. Okay, because the, the dye is staying the paintwork on this, whereas with it being sealed, it can't stain it. Yeah, and literally, I, I'll show you how far I can clean this down. And yeah, you can literally take off nearly 90% of the dye, just leaving it in the cracks. Okay, so what I'm going to do quickly now is I'm just going to wipe over all of these. Okay, and then we'll come back at the end just to show you the finished pieces, guys, okay? See you in a sec. So there we have it, guys. There's the finished pieces, and just let me go in close so you can get a really good look at these. Yeah, and as you can see, it's got a really, really nice, natural sort of texture to it. There's lots of variations. It's gone into all the cracks well and all the dips. Okay, and it looks... Fantastic, it honestly does, and to be truthful, it looks better than it does on the video. Now, as I was saying before, you know, this is done very quickly with the sprays, their spray dyes. Okay, now when it comes to the individual pieces, I'll be able to tailor those in and make them match just simply by watch clip using these actual wa washes, dye, I don't even know what they are. Weathering solutions, guys. Okay, they're sort of unique with what they do, and to be truthful, I think Model Mates is the, are the only people who do weathering sprays in, a, in, a, in an aerosol spray and a bottle format. If, if I'm wrong on that, correct me in the comments and I'll add it to the video, but I'm pretty sure that they are the only ones. But I'll be able to run these things either with a brush or run them through my airbrush to tailor all my individual pieces to my new dungeon. So this is the corridor bits. No doubt you'll be seeing more and more of this coming along as we build this board. But for now, okay, that was a quick product overview on Model Mates Weathering. Model Mates Weathering Spray Dyes, Moss Green and Mud Brown. You will get this right, Bose. <laughs> right, guys, keep your eyes out. Obviously, more opportun more of these sort of product overviews coming whenever I get the opportunity to sort of actually film them. But in the meantime... Look how gorgeous that looks. It's going to be great playing on this. Right, have a great day guys and speak to you soon. All the best. Ta-da.